So um, I have my kettle here, hot, boiling, 212. Got my group head here, got my grounds here, got my funnel here. I am ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. We're gonna fill this up. So this is a three time process. The third time, you actually have your coffee in it. So the two times, we're gonna fill this thing up. We're gonna let that water sit inside the group head for 45 seconds. Now I got my timer for 45 seconds. Now while that's going, we're not gonna be wasteful with our time. We're gonna get this inside of our funnel here. Awesome. We're going to tamp it down, just let all the ground settle. Cool, get our little tamping device here. We're going to smush all this down to make a puck. Nice, evenly pushed down puck. Just make sure. Look in there, we got 16 seconds left. I'm going to turn my kettle back on. So when it is time for the timer to go out, that should be boiling. And I'm going to do a quick change to keep that heat in that group head as long as I can. I'm going to keep it as hot as I can for as long as I can. So that's done. That's going to be done. And it's done. So that's number one. Here comes number two. Fill it back up. Quick, fast. And done. Back there, 45. Like clockwork, there it goes, easy peasy. So we're there, making sure we got a nice little puck here. I like mine tight, nice and tight there. Never forget your screen. You'll destroy a whole batch of coffee <laughs> if you forget your screen. <laughs> so that's number two. Just use a couple of seconds to get everything all squared away if you're gonna run another batch. This is my second batch. I like to run two shots. So it's like six shots of espresso. 15 seconds left. We hit that back again. And make sure that we are at hot, as hot as we can be. She all right? She's fine. All right. Three, two, one, that's done. Get back here to 10, to 11, as hot as it can be. Remember, this is the third one, so this is done. Goes back on there, and we're moving. If you move fast, you keep everything hot, as hot as it can. Only way to keep efficient like that is that you, you need to have everything ready to go. That's done. Boom. Get our gauge back on there. Try to get all the gas out as much as you can. Okay. Back in the machine. All right. Pre-infusion. It's going to show two bars of pressure for 10 seconds. Here we go. At two, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now we're gonna get right into the espresso phase. I like to stop wherever I get a good pull. So right now I'm about six, six and a half bar. I'm gonna stay there. Bottomless porta filter. Look at that. Very nice. Hmm, that's cool. Oh, we're running. Mm -hmm. And once we're out, we pull the whole apparatus out so we don't get any drips inside of the shot. That's that.